Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been an eternity since I filmed a makeup tutorial for you guys. I feel like I've been in this really weird creative space, just feeling really uninspired. A couple of days ago, I went on to the NASA Instagram page because that's my favorite page to look at on Instagram. I feel like all the, the photos that they post are absolutely beautiful. So I was browsing the page and saw this photo of this cloud in space and immediately fell in love with all the colors. So after seeing the photograph, I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and try and create a look like inspired by this photo and this is pretty much what I came up with. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the tutorial as usual. I started off priming my eyes using the Makeup Revolution Concealer in C12. Now I'm going into some brand new eyeshadows from Colored Rain. These are their Vivid Bright Single Shadows. To start off, I'm gonna mix two colors together for the crease. One is Bossed Up, which is that pink eyeshadow and Vibes, which is the purple. Since this is my first crease color, I'm gonna make sure to pack this on to really get that pigmentation going. Then to blend out the edges, I'm going in with the shadow Cute, and this is a lighter lavender type of shade. I'm going in with the same brush, the Morphe M506. This one is a clean one though, and I'm just going in with this again just to make sure the edges are well blended and there's no harsh lines. For my next shadow, I'm going in with Yacht Life and applying this directly onto the crease. I'm using a smaller brush for this step because the shade is a lot darker than the other colors that I've used. So it's gonna give me more precision and make sure that the color is not kind of going all over the place. So I'm just gonna apply that onto the crease and then go back in with the previous brush that I used to apply Bossed Up and Vibes and blend out the edges of that darker blue as well. Okay, so now it's time to cut our crease. I'm going in with the Makeup Revolution Concealer in C1. Don't mind my crease looking a little funny. I tried cutting my crease with something else and it didn't really work out, so I used a Q-tip to wipe it off and I figured I'd just fill in the space using the Makeup Revolution Concealer since that's what I typically use. But um, I just cut my crease as normal. You'll just probably see a little bit on the edge because I couldn't get really, really close to it or else I was gonna mess up like all my crease eyeshadows. But yeah, so I'm just using that concealer to cut my crease and then I'm going to go in with a smaller brush to blend out the edges so it fades nicely into the outer corners. So now I'm going in with Jet Set which is like this really pretty cornflower blue. This is going to be the transition shade for the outer corner because I'm going to reapply more of Yacht Life which is that darker blue. Having that like transition shade with the lighter blue is going to make it easier for it to like kind of fade into the other colors that I'm going to put onto the lid. Hopefully that makes sense but um yeah you'll see me do it here like I'm applying the lighter blue first and then going in with Yacht Life which is the darker blue and then I'm gonna go ahead and apply another lighter blue um, right next to it so it gives it a really nice like gradient effect. I'm now gonna go in with the Violet Voss Flamingo Palette. This is also a new product that just launched not too long ago. And I'm taking the shade Sunnies and I'm placing this onto the outer corner as well, just to deepen it up a little bit more. Then I'm going into Ocean Front, which is this really pretty baby blue. And I'm gonna apply this onto the crease. I mean, not onto the crease, onto the lid, <laughs> and just continue that gradient effect that I'm going for. If you need to, you can go back in with your blending brush that you use to apply a Jet Set, which is that cornflower blue and go in between the navy blue and ocean front and just make sure that they're really well blended in between. I'm then gonna go in with the shadow Lemonade and place this on the inner part of the lid to complete our little gradient that we got going on. And I'm using a smaller brush just to make sure that I don't mess up like the edges or go over like my cut crease and everything. And I'm just gonna kind of drag this into the blue so it kind of fades and creates like, creates like a little pastel green in the middle of the two colors. 
I'm using Lancome's Miss Your Big Mascara and coating my lashes to prep for my falsies. The false lashes that I'm using today are from the Bold Face Makeup. They just came out with a new collection called the Muse Collection. And these lashes are so pretty. They're in the style Thrill Seeker. And I'm just gonna apply those using some tweezers then press them together with my natural lashes using a pair of lash curlers. Moving on to my skin now, I'm starting off prepping my skin using the Urban Decay Urban Defense Complexion Primer. And this is a smoothing primer. It also has a SPF of 30, so it's great if you're like out in the sun and stuff like that, but you still want your skin to look really flawless and smooth underneath your foundation. So I'm just going over all the areas where I have like larger pores. So for me, that's like around my cheeks. And then for a foundation, I'm using the Jouer Essential High Coverage Creme Foundation and the shade Walnut. This foundation's pretty full coverage, so you definitely don't need a whole lot. A pump is more than enough to get you a full face. So I'm stippling this into the skin and don't forget to blend into the neck as well to make sure you get a smooth blend. Then for concealer, I'm using another Urban Decay product. This is their All Nighter Concealer in the shade Medium Dark Warm. This concealer dries pretty fast, so you wanna work in sections. So I'm going under the eyes first and then blending it out, then moving around like my face wherever I feel like I need to highlight. Then to set everything, I'm using Fenty Beauty's Invisible Matte Blotting Powder. I actually really, really like this powder because it's definitely translucent. There's no like flashback or anything like that either. So it really works well for photographs and stuff. And it's nice to kind of just throw in your purse too, just to kind of touch up. So um, I'm using a small little brush just to set all the areas that I place my concealer. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and start bronzing my skin and bringing back some color into my face using the Anastasia Bronzer in the shade Cappuccino. And because this does pull a little red on me, I'm making sure to use a very light hand with this. To balance out that bronzer, I definitely wanna contour with a little bit of a darker powder. Nothing too harsh though. I'm just using the Anastasia Contouring Kit in Tant Deep and using a mixture of two colors and applying that onto the hollows of my cheeks. Moving back to the eyes, I'm gonna add a little bit of color onto the waterline using a macromographic pencil. This is like a bright blue, so I thought it would be perfect with this look. After that, I'm gonna start smoking out the lower lash line using all the shadows that I applied on my crease. Next, I'm going in with the shade Pineapple from the Flamingo palette and applying this onto my inner corners. This is gonna be my base shade for the pigment that I'm gonna apply next. Then with Rattlesnake from Peaches of Cream, I'm gonna apply this onto the inner corner as well.
CoverGirl just came out with some new lash primer, so I'm gonna apply that onto my lashes first before I go in with mascara. And while that's drying, I'm gonna go ahead and start working on my brows. As usual, I'm using the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in Ebony. I've been looking for a fan for a really long time to dry my setting sprays. So I finally found one in my local beauty supply store and I'm super excited to show it to you guys because it's really cute and it's my favorite color. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I went in with my Mario Badescu Rosewater Facial Spray and now I'm gonna go in with some highlight. I'm using the Violet Floss Glamingo Face Palette. Hopefully I said that right. But I'm using two of the highlighters in that palette to get my glow today. I'm just gonna apply that using a small little fluffy brush from Makeup Makeup addiction onto my cheekbones, forehead, nose, bridge of the nose, Cupid's bow, and my chin. Then last but not least, I'm gonna work on my lips. I'm sliding my lips using a NYX suede matte lip liner in the shade Downtown Beauty. This has been a favorite of mine for a really long time. I know it's a little small, but I just got my new one and I just kind of wanted to finish using this one first before I move on to my brand new one. So I'm just gonna line my lips using that and then pop on some lipstick. This is the Anastasia Liquid Lipstick in the shade Starfish. It's a really cute like peachy nude. That's like one of my favorite lip colors to kind of go to if when I'm doing like a nude and of course I gotta add some gloss I'm definitely like become like a gloss girl but um peaches and cream came out with some new lip glosses and some lighter shades I've been absolutely loving them and I used a mixture of sisterhood and dream on I'm then gonna finish this look off using the urban decay setting spray and that pretty much concludes this look thank you so much guys for watching I really hope you enjoy this makeup tutorial let me know if you have any questions down below in the comments I just checked the subscriber count and we're literally like five people away from 100k oh my gosh <laughs> thank you guys so much for all of your support and all of the kind words and everything i'm just like so happy that you guys are really liking these tutorials like seriously you guys like make my day every time you comment and i just appreciate you all so much but um thank you so much for watching and hopefully i will see you next time bye